Hello there, it's the 14th of March 2020 and here you are with Dan. So today I am going to be making an update video on a few things that uh, I intend to be getting up to this weekend on the project here. Really looking forward to it, so let's hope the weather continues to be fair like it is and uh, let's start the walk around. So here goes. Now, many of you are aware of the raised bed I built last weekend. So I think it's a 220 centimetres by or about 200, so it's about six foot six by seven foot four, something like that. So quite a sturdy construction and uh, so far so good. So there we are. Now one of the jobs for today is to fill this up okay with some soil. Now I've had people ask me about the costs or mention about the costs whatever of filling this up and yes of course if one was purchasing compost to fill this up with yes the costs could be described as up there a little bit but that's not the case here I have some soil we're going to go and have a look at that in a moment and that's going to go in here an ideal thing would also be to enrich that with some homemade compost but I don't have any at the moment but uh, composting is a thing I'm going to be getting very much into this year it's um, the thing I was very much into in the past but um, in recent years I haven't given it the attention that uh, I would have liked but uh, I intend to rectify that this year so going to be doing a little bit of planting out this weekend as well should I get the job done of filling this all up the wheelbarrow is at the ready and what I'm one thing I'm going to be putting in there is this lovely Komatsuna okay now I found this to be an amazing amazing vegetable um, cold hardy here in the UK tasty looks like it could be very good for stir fries very nutritious and this is some here so I put some videos up um, the latter part later part of last year and the earlier part of this year where I sowed this lovely thing so take a look at those I got the seeds from the real seed company but I know that uh, I can grow these here in the UK, here in the polytunnel, over winter, and it appears that slugs and snails don't like them too much either. So, uh, Komatsuna, if it floats your boat, look it up. So, other jobs for this weekend. I was given some of these starlight border lilies, so they look pretty cool. So, going to be planting those probably in a pot. I have some more planting out to do. This here is corn salad, otherwise known as lamb's lettuce, fully hardy again here in the UK. I have some Swiss chard and spinach here, and or, looking lovely indeed, some kale plants, and some spring onions, okay. Now these will be lovely if I can get them into the raised bed, should I get that filled up. Now here, I have some strawberry runners, and these are variety Royal Sovereign okay now these came from Pomona fruits and uh, there's 11 here I think I uh, it was meant to be 10 but uh, 11 arrived so I will not complain about that so looking very good nice runners runners nice roots there so I'm going to get those planted up today that's the tag there the Dixie red peach tree is fully out and kicking well so expecting good crops off of there peregrine peach out as well and the nectarine lord napier slightly paler pink flowers on there really really lovely looking a little bit later out to come out than the peaches so there we are hang on now that is a beautiful nectarine flower I think look at that Okay, so down here we have some strawberries. These are our El Santa, and they were just like those runners I showed you earlier. I planted them out. They're doing very well. Some more El Santa here. Florence, these once again look the same. So strawberries should be a big part of the overall program here this year, all being well. Now you may remember I sowed some daffodils and some other bulbs earlier in the year. So, sorry, later in the later part of last year. So these daffodils are looking very, very nice here indeed. And I put some tulips in here. These are just waiting to release their flowers. So really, really lovely there. These daffs are just waiting to come out. 
and some slightly different coloured daffodils here, look. Lovely, aren't they, hey? So, some of you may have originally stumbled across my channel on the video how to grow hydrangeas in containers and pots, and I looked at that video earlier on today, and it's uh, sitting at about 42,000 views, so thank you very much for that. But um, now this is looking very, very healthy, and this is the said hydrangea in that video. Got last year's flowers still on, I'll remove, or spent flowers, I should say, I will remove, the, remove those. But um, looking at this, very, very healthy looking hydrangea, and still in the pot, looking very, very good indeed. Right, okay, so many of you are well aware of the raised bed here. So this is where some of the soil is going to come from to go in the newly built raised bed. So there we go. An interesting event is going to be occurring soon on this channel. So uh, I'm not going to be giving too many hints, but um, stay tuned if you're interested. Now I thought I'd show you this, and this is a variety of pear called Onward. Some of you have seen this already, I've got it growing here in this pot. But it's a really nice pear, and it's in an espalier shape. Now part of me would like to get it out of this pot and into the ground, growing it as an espalier, espalier however you say it. But it's just finding a place for it, but it really is a lovely tree, it looks nice, and it's the perfect shape to be put up against a wall or a fence, something like that. Okay, so there you go, that's a few things that are going to be happening here, going to make a start now, so going to sign off. Hope everybody out there is doing well, and any comments, questions, whatevers, please feel free to post below. If you like my work, you can check me out on Dan underscore Home Gardens, and I always appreciate it if people want, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.